this is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures. Today is uh, about uh, minus uh, four degrees Celsius outside, a high of minus four. Uh, this afternoon, the wind is going to pick up a whole lot, in which case it's probably going to end up feeling somewhere around minus 10 to minus 12 degrees Celsius. So I thought I'd give you guys a little demonstration of this little trick I read in a book about how to keep yourself warm in a pinch and how to raise your overall body temperature a little bit through the use of a wool blanket and a candle. Now whether you use a blanket or some form of a reflector blanket, it's up to you, it doesn't matter. Um, I use the wool blanket simply because of the fact that, well, I like wool blankets a lot better. They pack up a lot more easier. Despite the fact of its size and weight, uh, when you've got the reflector blanket, you got to keep in mind that you, when you are, you got to fold that thing up and you got to put it back in its little packaging and it's just like, it's, ugh, it's so difficult sometimes. But with a little blanket, I can just roll it up, stick it on top of my backpack, and I'm good to go. So I'm going to show you this neat little trick that I learned in the book. And uh, I've got a candle here that I've lit already. So whether you use an actual, just a candle, just like a wax candle by itself, it doesn't matter. Uh, personally, I'm using this one right here, which is a candle from UCO. This is the uh, miniature candle version. There's the candle right there lit already. Uh, they also have the bigger candle versions as well, which I use that one for usually for camping. This is one that I carry around in my day hiking backpack. So you're going to need a candle, a way of lighting the candle, of course, and a blanket. And I'll show you how this works. So basically what you want to do is you want to wrap the blanket not only around you, but you want to have it completely over top of you as well. You're creating almost like a dome style effect, using your body as the dome, and the candle is basically going to be put right in front of you, either between your legs, depending on if you're sitting cross-legged, you can set it right in front of your legs. If you have your legs spread out on each side, put the candle between your legs, in which case you can potentially get away with this. So I'm sitting on like a little miniature bench thing right here, so I'm going to have my legs cross-legged, so I'm going to put the candle directly in front of me. So hopefully you can see this. When I actually throw the blanket over, I'll bring the camera inside to show you. Oops, come up, stay still. There you go. So I got my legs, got my legs crossed here. I got the candle right here. I can already feel the heat coming off of this already, so I got to use the little thing here. So I'm just gonna put the candle pretty much just right here in front. And I can already feel that heat coming off. So I got the wool blanket wrapped around me right here. And what you want to do is basically this. Just throw the blanket over top of you and use your body like a dome effect. So I'll bring the camera here a little closer. And just bear with me for a second here. Now throw the blanket over top of myself and the camera. So there's the candle by itself. Here's me. So basically, I'm leaning forward right now with this blanket over top of me, creating a whole dome style effect. I'm trying to keep the open spaces down to a minimum. I gotta put down this camera for a second, kind of close it off a little bit. Gotta make some adjustments here. So that way the ends of the blankets So those, those kind of like openings are down to a minimum. <clears throat> so right now, what I'm creating is like sort of like a little environment for myself inside of here. So that way what's going to happen is that this little candle, despite how small it is, <clears throat> despite how small this candle is, I can already feel that heat coming up on my face and upper body areas. Now, sure, in a really cold pinch, obviously, this is not very much. You're only going to go up maybe a couple of degrees at the most. But still, you know, just having a candle around, in my opinion, is just a good overall boost of morale. Just a boost of morale. I can already feel that heat coming up on me. And the reason why I say the wool blanket is a better option is because even then, you can see the all the openings and stuff like that. Despite how good this is really working for me, that smoke is getting into my face. I can smell it right now. But that smoke is going to go through these openings and seep its way out. 
But with a reflector blanket, unfortunately, there is n none of that. So all that smoke is going to be in your face the entire time, and you're going to be opening it up every so often, trying to get that smoke out of your face so you can breathe better. So right now, what I've got, so see, I got a little opening right there. There's little openings around, so that ventilation is still there. Airflow is getting to that candle, keeping it lit. But right now, I'm actually feeling a lot more warmer by comparison to when I was just before I put this blanket over top of me. And also, it's giving off some really good light as well. I love this little candle. This, these things that were awesome, by the way. This one was about 12 bucks. It came with a candle or two. Uh, they have the bigger version, which is about $25, but uh, and they burn longer, but uh, I like this one better because of the fact that not only is the candle smaller, but I can stack up candles inside of it, so that way there's like about six candles in there. Each one of these little ones burn for around two or three hours, so it provides a nice good little bit of light and warmth, but obviously I don't need it to burn all night long, so... Just for a little while is really all I need. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to say I don't have a thermometer with me. I don't carry one around with me all the time, so there's not really much of a need for it. So the downside to this method is not only is that it only brings you up a handful of degrees, really, but right now I'm arched forward. My legs are crossed. Sooner or later, you're going to get into a position where you're going to get a little uncomfortable, and a little cramped, maybe a little bit painful. And you gotta sit up a little bit, and then the cold kind of rushes you again. But it's still it's a nice little boost of morale, morale booster, all the same. So <clears throat> let's get the blanket off me here. <sighs> there we go. So there's the candle. Legs crossed, and basically I was just leaned forward the whole time. With the blanket just over top of me and the candle itself. Let's scoop that up. For what it is, it's a neat little candle. Now, whether you use an EUCO candle lantern like this, or just in general, just a regular candle, household cam candle, uh, whether you have a frame to it or not, it really doesn't matter. So, that's just a candle that I generally will use. I'm sorry I couldn't get you a better view of this because I don't have a camera tripod nor anyone else to hold the camera for me. So this is just what I have. But uh, I'm just sitting here cross-legged and uh, well, there's my backpack, by the way. Oh, and there's my new walking stick that I made a little while ago as well. This thing is awesome because it's like it's a walking stick, but it's a slingshot right on the top as well. So I've got the... Uh, there's the slingshot fork right on the top. i got the bands tied off and everything, a little pouch there. Yes, it does in fact work. It's more for show than anything else, but it does. But it does work. So it's more just a show off to the friends and a conversation starter. But you know, that's what it is. So, anyways, you know, give this a, give this a try for yourself. See what works for you. Whether it's the reflector blanket, a wool blanket, a fleece blanket, whatever style of candle you want to use. If it's one of those like fragrance style candles, that's great. Sure, go do whatever you want. So give it a shot for yourself and see what happens. This is Green Hat Red Beer Adventures. See you around.